Maka's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here playing Payday 3, and in this video, I'll show you how to complete the Rock the Cradle mission in the nightclub without having the VIP invitation in stealth. I won't even put my mask on, and I'm playing on the hard difficulty. This will unlock the Party Crasher achievement slash trophy, and for this strategy, you will need the Ghost Protocol perk. I would highly recommend a ton of other stealth perks that'll get you through lock picking quickly and just allow you to have rush on you. But early on here, you're gonna wanna go to the two bouncers who don't wanna let you in. But now that you have ghost protocol, you can hack the radio of the one that won't stop looking. Take the blue key card, swipe the blue key card, and you're now in VIP. It was really that simple all along. You can run a loop through an area you're not supposed to go and they kind of follow you through the loop. You can try to grab the key card, but that is way harder. All right, now that you're in, the cameras won't like you, the guards won't like you, but all of the regular civilians are pretty much A-OK -okay with you. You wanna go down these first two set of stairs and around this corner to my right, you'll find a room that accesses through the blue key card. Here you'll find a whole bunch of fuse boxes. Remember where this is for later. And we can head on through a grate, which will allow us to get across. If this isn't here or your randomized run, it's a little different. Feel free to just go along the downstairs. Our goal here is to get to this door in the far right corner. Make sure you do not take fall damage dropping off of the upper catwalk as this will force you to put your mask on. Once you get through this door, watch out. There can be a camera, which is a little tricky. But our goal is to get into this kind of side room here. And the reason we need this is because to get to the IT room, which is our goal, we need the red key card, which always spawns in the room ahead. So once the coast is clear, head into the accountant's office and you'll locate the red key card. It can spawn in one of two locations. When you enter the door, feel free to lock the door behind you, but look on the cabinet next to the coffee machine, and if it's not there, it'll be in the safe, which you will need to crack. I will save you the cracking, and you can just see me loot it. Inside, grab the red key card. We can now head over to the IT room because we can finally gain access. You can get super lucky here and have the IT room spawn basically directly under you, which just means you have to go through the grate in the staircase and go inside and come back out. But for me, I did have to make my way almost all the way across the bottom floor here, which was a little annoying, but isn't too difficult. Remember a good route between these two areas because from the IT room, you need to go back to the accountant's room. From the accountant's room, you need to go back to the IT room. So this is a path we'll take a few times. There's also a bouncer that guards the door nearest the IT room and you want to avoid him at all costs. He really doesn't like you being down here and basically functions like a guard. So find a decent route to the IT room. For me, it was through this little side gambling area, through this kind of kitchen, watching out for the camera, using the red key card we got in the accountant's room to gain access into the IT room. Now, once we're in the IT room, we're looking for a very specific piece of information. First of all, it will set off our next objective, but what we're looking for is the information on the whiteboard. For me, it is C250 and green. This is the switch I need to turn off the electricity to the IT room. And now if you get caught, you can restart the heist from the pause menu and you will know this information. So you can skip basically all of the steps we've done. And all you have to do is go into the circuit breaker room that I mentioned earlier near the bottom of the two first steps we took to get into VIP. Getting there from the IT room can be a little bit difficult, but typically you wanna just sneak backwards from where we came. You won't be able to use the upstairs catwalk, but just watch out for the cameras Camera. and the guards do wander a little bit. But if you head up the stairs, you should be able to find that exit you took earlier with the blue key card and all the panels directly in front of you. You'll look for the panel number you had. For me, it's C250 and you look for the color. For me, it's green. Pull that lever to shut down the electricity in the IT room and now navigate back towards the accountant's room, taking the same catwalk we took earlier, making sure not to take fall damage yet again. Now, this should be pretty obvious, but if you're playing in co-op, you can split up these tasks, have one person permanently parked in the accountant's office, one person permanently parked in the IT room, and it makes going back and forth non-existent. You'll save a lot of time. Once we are in the accountant's room, we want to hack the accountant's computer. This should be your main objective. And once you interact with it, there'll be a short hacking sequence. 
and then once you hack it, you can interact with it. This will cut the power to the IT room, which will open up the door to the crypto server that we needed and the whole point of this objective. If it wasn't obvious, you do need to stay in stealth both to get the achievement and for the crypto server mission objective to stay active. So that's why I don't even have my mask on because there's so many civilians. But after I do hack that computer, I wanna go back to the IT room preferably using the same route I used before because I know that it's safe now. Now, in my gameplay, my guards are searching, so they're pretty unpredictable in terms of where they are. If you didn't do any funky stuff on camera or raise any suspicions, this should be a lot easier for you. But go into the IT room now that you have the power cut off and the computer hacked, and you should be able to just walk up to the server and pick up that objective. There are still a couple of steps left, but I think the hardest part is over, especially if you've memorized your switch box code. At this point, if you are playing in co-op or with a group, everyone can start getting ready to meet at the escape while remaining in stealth. We're basically going to want to take the route back towards the accountant's office. We need to drop off the crypto wallet here. And again, my guards are searching, which makes them act a little more erratically and move in a couple more rooms than they are normally do. So it does take me a little bit longer to sneak out. But we want to sneak back towards kind of the accountant's office to go end up underneath that catwalk we took. And there we can actually drop off the crypto wallet, making sure we watch out for any cameras like I almost get caught by right here. And then you can just take the bag off of your shoulders and throw it over. You can't jump because we don't have our mask on, but that should basically complete your objective. At this point, you can loot the optional loot, or in our case, we're going to go and end the run to make sure we can grab the achievement and trophy and finish in full stealth, no mask. So you just want to end up going back upstairs to that middle floor of VIP where we were earlier, not far from the switch boxes. But on the opposite side, you can also use the blue key card to gain access to an escape chute. And if you sit here, it should end and hopefully your achievement or trophy unlock. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.